Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Today's topic comes from one of our viewers, Winston Ma. Thanks for the suggestion. You asked, the history of sports drinks. Sports drinks are an everyday fixture in athletic culture now, but their origins trace a fascinating journey through science, sports, marketing, and the evolving understanding of human performance. From humble beginnings in research labs to billion-dollar industries with global influence, the story of sports drinks is as much about hydration as it is about innovation and commercialization. Let's dive deep into how sports drinks came to be, how they evolved, and how they became an essential part of the athletic and fitness world, right here on History of Simple Things. The genesis of modern sports drinks can be traced back to the sweltering football fields of the University of Florida in the mid-1960s. At that time, coaches and medical staff noticed that players were suffering from dehydration, cramping, and a noticeable drop in performance, especially during the hot and humid summer practices. This problem caught the attention of Dr. Robert Cade, a kidney disease specialist at the university. Cade and his team, including Drs. Dana Shires, H. James Free, and Alejandro de Quesada, embarked on a mission to understand the physiological stresses athletes were facing in such extreme conditions. What they discovered was groundbreaking at the time. The players were losing not just water, but also vital electrolytes, sodium, potassium, and chloride, through sweat which couldn't be replenished simply with water. The solution they came up with was a simple but revolutionary beverage, a mixture of water, salt, sugar, and lemon juice to improve the taste. This concoction was initially met with skepticism and even ridicule. Some critics called it sugar water with salt. But once the Florida Gators football team began using the drink, their performance notably improved. The team credited the beverage with giving them a crucial edge, especially during games played in extreme heat. In 1967, the Gators went on to win the Orange Bowl, and word quickly spread about the strange new drink. That beverage would soon become known as Gatorade, named after the team that helped inspire it. By the early 1970s, Gatorade had gained traction beyond the University of Florida, spreading to professional sports teams and becoming a staple on NFL sidelines. It was eventually licensed to Stokely Van Camp, a food and beverage company, which helped Gatorade scale up production and distribution. Gatorade's success signaled a new era in sports science, one that emphasized not only hydration, but also the importance of electrolyte balance and carbohydrate intake during intense physical activity. The sports drink category was born, and Gatorade had firmly established itself as the pioneer. As the popularity of sports drinks surged in the 1980s and 1990s, the market became more crowded. Competitors began to emerge, each offering their own variation on the electrolyte carb formula. Brands like Powerade, developed by the Coca-Cola company, and All Sport by PepsiCo entered the scene, sparking what would become a marketing war centered around athletic sponsorships, flashy branding, and scientific endorsements. Powerade was launched in 1988 and immediately positioned itself as a direct rival to Gatorade, emphasizing performance benefits and often aligning with high-profile athletes and events to gain visibility. These drinks were no longer just functional beverages. They were lifestyle products embedded in the image of peak athleticism. In the 1990s and early 2000s, the science behind sports drinks continued to evolve. Researchers began to refine the ideal concentration of carbohydrates and electrolytes to optimize absorption and minimize gastrointestinal distress during prolonged exercise. 
Isotonic drinks designed to closely match the body's natural fluid composition became the gold standard. At the same time, a divergence began to emerge between drinks meant for elite athletes and those consumed by the general public. While sports drinks were originally developed for endurance athletes and high-intensity performance, they were increasingly being consumed by casual exercisers or even people who were sedentary. This raised questions about sugar content, caloric intake, and whether these beverages were actually beneficial or potentially harmful when consumed outside of their intended context. The 21st century brought new innovation and diversification in the sports drink market. As health consciousness rose among consumers, so did demand for lower sugar and zero calorie alternatives. Brands began to develop lighter versions of their classic formulas, such as Gatorade G2 and Powerade Zero. At the same time, entirely new categories of hydration products emerged, including electrolyte tablets, powders, and functional waters. Products like Nuon, Liquid 4, and Pedialyte Sport catered to a more nuanced understanding of hydration needs, offering customizable electrolyte blends for everything from marathon running to post-party recovery. Today, sports drinks represent a multi-billion dollar global industry. Gatorade, now owned by PepsiCo, remains the dominant player, controlling a significant share of the market, especially in North America but the competitive landscape has never been more diverse. From boutique hydration startups to scientifically formulated performance beverages developed in partnership with sports medicine experts, the options are endless. Some products are tailored for pre-workout energy, others for intra-workout endurance, and still others for post-workout recovery. Athletes at all levels, professional, amateur, and recreational, can now choose from an ever-expanding range of hydration solutions depending on their specific needs, performance goals, and dietary restrictions. But despite all the innovation, the core idea remains the same. Replenish what the body loses through sweat, water, electrolytes, and energy. What started as a small medical experiment on a football field has transformed into a complex industry at the intersection of sports, science, and business. It's a testament to how a simple solution to a specific problem can scale into something that touches millions of lives daily. Whether you're running a marathon, hitting the gym, or just recovering from a hot summer day, sports drinks have become part of our cultural lexicon hydration engineered for performance, backed by decades of science and a whole lot of marketing. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.